Hello everybody. Happy Thursday. How is everybody doing? I hope that you're all having a good day. I hope that you've all found a few moments to have some calmness and to smile. Um, yeah, that's my wish for you guys for today. Um, this was a w weird way to start a video off. <laughs> um, for those of you who do not know me, um, my name is Charlotte. I am a beauty influencer with a company called Pharmacy. And right now I am ever so grateful to that company considering I am able to work from home and still make an income. So I am extremely grateful right now. Um, I know there are so many people out there that are not as lucky as I am that cannot work from home. Um, I have friends and family in the healthcare industry um, that cannot stay home. They are essential personnel. My oldest son is considered essential personnel because he works for a grocery store. Um, and yeah, so my heart and um, prayers go out to everyone who is considered essential personnel. Thank you so much for all you're doing. Um, I send you nothing but good vibes and wishes for health and safety and lots of prayers. So um, yeah, I just thank you all so, so much. Um, like I said, I am very, very thankful and extremely grateful to be able to work from home right now. Um, like I said, I know not everybody can do that. And then I feel um, so bad for people who own businesses who are struggling right now because they've had to be closed um, because they're not essential businesses. So my hat goes out to everybody. Uh, my hat goes out to everybody, period. Like, just everybody. Um, it's just a crazy time. Like, I never thought in my 50 years that I would ever be seeing any of this. So it's scary. And my anxiety, guys, have been so bad that I haven't even been doing my skincare. And my skin is so dry right now. I just can't seem to get things together. Like I can't seem to get going and I'm having to push myself to do things that I normally do every day. And I, st I work from home. So this isn't, it's not even like this is like out of character for me. I'm usually home. Um, so I don't know. I think it's just at this point, the worry and the stress of worrying about loved ones and people. And, um, I just can't seem to get with it. So Today I was like, no, you're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, and you are going to do makeup. And you're going to get out of your head for a little while. So thank you if you guys are watching this with me and allowing me to do something that calms me. So I appreciate it. So with that said, um, oh my God, my hair. Guys, I can't wait to go to the hairdresser. Yikes. Oh, I just, all I see is brown roots. It looks so weird. I look like I have a wig from this point on. This is why guys, like I keep saying, do I want to go back to my natural color? And now that I have like two inches of roots, now you guys can really see, I think more of what I would look like with my natural color. And everyone's like, you should do it. You look so good with brown hair. You know, you should just go back to your natural color. But, oof, I don't know, guys. I don't know. They, everyone says, oh, it brings out your eyes. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyways, I have on already for you guys. I have my VFX Pro Stri um, Strobe Primer on and this gives you a really beautiful luminous glow to your skin it's really good if you have dry skin it's very hydrating um and it has like a mother of pearl like iridescence to it so it looks really amazing under your makeup under your foundation it just gives a really pretty glow so that is what i have on to start then i went in with our um lip conditioner and this stuff is amazing, guys. It comes in a regular lipstick type tube. Um, it's just clear, but it moisturizes your lips so well. It just really is a great, great lip balm. Um, 
I use it all the time. I've already gone through three of them. So I love it. And then what I did was I went in with our BB cream in light to medium. I used a damp beauty blender and I put that all over just to even out my skin. I am not going anywhere, so I don't need heavy coverage today. I'm just looking to just even out my skin tone. Um, the BB cream is a beauty balm, so if you have dry skin, this will work really well on you if you have dry skin. It gives a really pretty hydrating look to your skin. It evens out. It's like a light to medium coverage. We have, um, we have it in light, light to medium, and then medium to dark, I believe. I think it's three shades, and we might even have just dark. I'm not, I don't remember now. I don't know why I don't remember. I should know that, but I don't. Um, so that is what's on my face. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with our um, Be Fit CC powder, which looks like that. And I am just going to go in and I am going to just, um, I'm going to go in and just set my lids. Um, I don't put powder on the rest of my face. You guys know that. Anyone who, um, knows me knows I do not put powder on the rest of my face because my skin is so dry that I don't like the way it looks if I put powder. So I just put it on. This little hair is going to drive me crazy. Oh, it's all right, Charlotte. You're not on a dating site. You're not doing a profile picture for, what's that site? Something.com, mingle.com. I don't know. I've never been on a dating site, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so this stuff is amazing, guys. It's a CC cream. It's a CC powder, and it we have a CC cream also, but this is the powder. It's really, really good. So I put that on my lids, and now what I want to do today is kind of like a very simple bronzy look. Um just go in, I'm gonna bronze up my face, I'm gonna use the same bronzer to do my eyes, and I'm gonna keep it like really simple. I just want it to be a really healthy, glowy, bronzy look for summer. So, let me, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna, our bronzer, guys, is so good. It's a really pretty neutral bronzy color. It's not too, you know, it's like not orangey. It's not too brown. It's like, it's just a really pretty natural looking bronze color. And I am gonna tap off and I am just going to go in and start putting that all around. And I am actually going to go over pretty much my whole face with this because I want to give my entire face like a really pretty bronzy look. Now I know most people only will do like the tops and stuff. But I want my whole face to have like this really pretty bronzed look to it. Almost like what you would look like with a self tanner if you were to self tan your face. And I'm bringing it all the way down my neck. And of course, my neck and my face is the same as my body. I know some people self tan, so their face is always whiter um, than the rest of them so they match the foundation for me as you can see I mean I'm I'm very pale um, so everything on me is pretty much <laughs> the same pale color so for me um, if I actually need to bring it down a lot further I love this t-shirt. It's so comfortable. I got it from um, Primark, which is, I don't know if you uh, ever, I don't think everybody has Primarks, but it's a store based out of Boston, I believe. I know, well, that's where we go, um, at Burlington Mall and um, 
that's where I got it from. And like I said, you would want to make sure that you are blending this all the way down, especially if you have an open um, collar shirt. You're going to want to bring that bronzer all the way down so that your neck is going to match your face. For me, I'm not going to worry too much because this is just for, you know, this is for video purposes. Obviously, if I was actually going out, I would definitely bring it down and bring it all down my, you know, my neck and I'd bring it all the way down here. But I'm trying to give you a look that you would probably have more towards summer, like just that natural by then most people's bodies would be a little bit darker i would imagine from the sun so that's what i'm doing okay so we've got our bronzer all over and you can see it just darkened up my skin tone a little bit and it just gave me a healthy looking, almost like a fake tan. Like I look like I have a fake tan. And you can still see that I have some glowiness popping through on my nose, on my cheekbones. It just looks really healthy. It looks bronzy. It looks really, really pretty. So that's that. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with some blush. And I think I'm just going to go in with this peachy color blush. I'm going to go in with, do I want to use this blush? I'm going to go in with um, one of our double-ended brushes. This blush is in the number 15. And and I love our blushes, guys, the ones with the shimmer, because it gives you a built-in highlighted look to your skin it just looks so pretty so so pretty i'm gonna take a little bit down the center of my nose a little here a little there and see it just gives like a really pretty pretty glow to your skin it's just really good like really good let me just blend that i don't want any hush lines and you can see it just gives this beautiful beautiful glow so that's that then what i'm going to do now is i am going to go in with our bronzer again and i'm going to use the small end of our double-sided brush I'm going to tap off and I'm going to go in on my lids with this. And I am going to bring that all the way up. I'm using the bronzer for the whole entire area except for my lid. And that's the beauty too, guys, of our products. You can use them for so much more than just one thing. Like the bronzer can be used to contour, it can be used to bronze, it can be used as eyeshadow. I mean, our blushes can be used as blush or eyeshadow. And our pigments can be used on your eyes, they can be used on your lips, your nails. So it's like, it's so great to have products that you can use multiple ways. Um, so I really, really, really love this company. I love the products. I love what it stands for. Um, you know, they've been so good about making sure that all their employees are, um, and customers are as safe as can be as far as packaging. Um, shipments are still going out on time. You know, they've been so good to make sure that everything's being followed as far as the guidelines through all of this. 
um, they've taken extra precautions um, to make sure that all of us feel um, safe and they've it's been great too because we have so many products right now that are in high demand that um, people can't find and it's been great to be able to offer customers certain things um, that they can't get out in the stores um, you know like tea tree oils and aloes and aloe products tea tree oil products um, soaps you know antibacterial soaps and antiseptic soaps um, baby products our feminine line um, you know our wipes feminine wipes and um, so many things that we offer that right now you can't you know it's hard to get in the store right now like you're just not finding them in the store so it's been nice to be able to offer that to our customers so, I mean, yeah, so I mean, and they're all high quality products, guys, high quality, really good prices, and, we, you know, we've, um, you know, we've been telling everybody, friends and families that we know, you know, if you're out of work right now, and you need a supplemental income, you know, sign up with pharmacy for $20 and doesn't mean you have to stay with it doing it, but, um, sign up and at least you'll have some supplemental income coming in. You get 50% on what you sell plus 50% off of what you buy. So, you know, we've been, I've been telling everybody, you know, listen, I'm fortunate to stay home and work from home. Like I've been, I'm very lucky right now. Um, I have job security because I pretty much work for myself. So I'm like, if you guys need like extra income right now, everyone's having a hard time. People are struggling. Um, the wait with unemployment is absolutely insane. I heard a lot of people can't even get on to the sites to even apply for unemployment right now. So that's scary. Um, so I've been just telling everybody, like any jobs that I see that are listed, I've been posting what, you know, for any place that's hiring, but I've been telling everybody, listen, guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. Like if you're social in your home and you have a computer, you can do this and you can make some money to tide you over until things go back to normal. Um, so that's what I've been telling everybody. I'm like, I'll help you guys. I can send you the link. It's $20. You start making 50% commission the minute you get your kit, the minute you sign up. They give you a website. You don't have to do that. You have your own website. It's all done for you. So you could really legitimately sign up today and be working by tonight and building, you know, just sending out, you know, messages to people that you know. And maybe there's other people out there that you know that would be good at this, that need a job right now and some income, and they may want to sign up. So... That's what I've been doing. I've just been trying to help as many people as I can, letting people know about the products that we have that are in high demand, keeping people updated on our stock and making sure that things are still in stock that um, I've been talking about and just trying to help people get orders placed for stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, why not? Because like I said, I'm very fortunate to be able to stay home. My job's secure because I work for myself. So um, I'm very, very lucky. So if I can help somebody else, you know, I'm going to help somebody else. And if anybody is looking to to do this, or if you think it's something that you might want to do just for now or whatever, um, you can reach out to me, message me, and I will help you get you all set up. Um, tell you what you have to do and all that. So if that's something, if you are in need of that, just please, please, you know, message me and I will, I will send you everything you need to get going. All right. So we have our bronzer now. We have our bronzer on our lash, um, our eyelids. Now I'm going to go in with that same blush that we used on our cheeks, number 15. And I am going to go in with another double-ended brush. And I'm going to go in and put that on my lid now. 
and you do want to tap off. in and just use this as a base for my lid and then I'm going to go in with a pigment okay so that's just a base then what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with, let me see, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with our pigment in Morocco number two. This is what our pigments look like. And I am going to just take that same brush that I just used. I'm going to tap it off really, really good. And I'm going to put that on my lid. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to actually go in with my finger. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. And I probably should take my hand away from my face and my mouth when I'm talking and explaining. And see, it just gives a really pretty, pretty uh, glow. It keeps everything like really bronzy looking. And if you go a little bit above your crease, it's fine. It does not matter because it's just gonna add extra glow like an extra glow to the upper part of your eye lid eyelid so I brought it just up a little bit above the crease and it blends in so beautifully guys because um, that bronzer it just blends in beautifully with this pigment. <sighs> and then if you have any fallout, you can just wipe that away. And sometimes you do get a little bit of fallout. A lot of noise outside. All the kids are home from school, so normally you don't hear any noise, but now with the kids home, they've been outside getting some fresh air. I can only imagine having, I loved having my kids home. I loved it, but I did not homeschool my children. Um, I did not have to have the pressures of that, but I mean, I loved having them home. Like people would be like, oh, dreading school vacations and summer vacations. And I was always like, yes, thank you. Like I really loved having them home, but I'm finding that not everybody feels the same way that I did. But again, like I said, in all fairness, I didn't have to homeschool my kids for a couple of months. Because I'm sure most of these kids are like, I'm not doing my homework. And they're not, you know, listening to the parents and thinking there's going to be no consequences if they don't. It's hard, you know, it's hard. Kids, that's so out of their routine and yikes. I applaud the parents who are having a homeschool right now. I really do. I hope that you have a nice big soaker tub that you can get into 
All right, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, now that we put that pigment on, my, on our lids, I'm gonna go in now with a shader brush. I am gonna actually wet it, but I'm actually going to, let me see, yeah, I'm gonna use the shader brush and I'm going to just wet my brush and I'm gonna go in with a little bit more pigment and I'm going to apply it with that wet brush. You're gonna see it's going to intensify the look of the pigment. It almost gives it like a foiled look when you wet it. And you wanna get into the crease of your eye because that's going to help blend it. And see the difference between that eye now and that one? It just gives you this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful glow. Then we're gonna go in on the other eye and we're gonna do the same thing. And like I said, you wanna make sure you get into the crease because you want it to be all blended. And like I said, you can wet your brush with water or you can wet it, wet it with setting spray. I use water because I have extremely sensitive eyes, so I never put any type of setting sprays on my eyes. And even though our products are really high quality, they are tremendous products um, and we meet extremely high guidelines and we don't have a lot of the stuff that products in the United States have. I still use water um, when I put on my eye. I've never tried putting our setting spray on our, my eye, so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but for me, I don't take that chance. Okay, and now I'm going to go down and do the rep, the same thing underneath on my lower lash. I'm going to take a wet brush and I am just going to go on that bottom lash line and I'm gonna go underneath. And what I've done is I added a little bit more water to the mix so that it just will um, slide very easily underneath. And let me see. A Q-tip. And then I just, if any, little bit comes down, I can just wipe it with my Q-tip. My skin is so dry, guys. Do not do as I do and neglect your skin care. Don't do it. It's bad. Very, very bad. You will regret it immensely. All right, so we have our eyes done. So I just dragged that gold underneath. So now we have a really, really pretty bronzy. Bronzy, bronzy eye, like a coppery, copper bronze. We have our whole face um, with our bronzer. We have our blush. And now we're gonna do eyes. And today I'm gonna to go in with our Pharmacy Be Fit Mascara. This mascara is water resistant, it's smudge proof. 
and it is one of the best mascaras I've ever used. It gives me length, it gives me volume, it separates, it gives me curl. Like this stuff's flipping amazing. At first I was like, oh, I'm not gonna like it. You know, it's not gonna be one that I'm gonna like because I love deep black. Nothing's gonna even come close to pharmacy's deep black. And then I tried it and I was like, oh my God. And the other thing is I'm not a big water resistant, waterproof mascara girl because they're usually so hard to get off that I feel like you gotta pull half your eyelashes out to get it off, but with this one, you don't. And what I've been doing, guys, is I've been using um, the Calendula Balm to take off my eye makeup, and it works super good. And the jaw will last you so long like so long. Can you see like how nice, like how nice that mascara goes on? It's so good guys. And it gives me more curl than our extreme curl does, which is weird, but it does. And I did get a little tiny speck right there. I'm just going to leave it, let it dry, and then I'll take it off after with a spoolie. I haven't been using my lash serum either. I'm just like, I have to get back into the swing of things, guys. Because I haven't done skincare. I haven't been doing my lash serum. Like the other night, I just, I went and took a shower and I'm like, okay. I just let the hot water hit me and I was like, just breathe. Like, get it together, you know, and just breathe. And I just did my hair. I put my the shampoo in, which I usually leave on for like a good, five, 10 minutes. You don't have to leave it on that long, but I did and I just, I did my hair, shaved my legs and I was like, okay. Like, it's just tough. It's tough. It's tough for everybody right now. Okay, so. We have our mascara on. And I'm gonna go in one more time. And I only do one, co one coat on my lashes. And then I go back in when I do my bottoms. I think my vision's getting bad, guys. I swear, I can't see anything now without my, like I have reading glasses, just the kind that you buy in the store. Nothing great, just, you know, the magnifying um, glasses that you can get anywhere. And uh, I don't know. I'm starting to think I might have to go to the eye doctor because I'm having a heck of a time just seeing now in general if I don't have, but then if I wear, if I wear the magnifying ones, they're too strong. Like they don't, they're not good for everything. So, and then of course you can't have glasses on when you're putting on mascara. So that's weird. You know, can't get the brush through the lens. And I don't know why, but lately I'm having a heck of a time. 
like just seeing my to do my makeup on my eyes and I have um I have a magnifying mirror like I have a trifle mirror so all right guys so that is the be fit mascara and like I said it gives you like crazy length and fullness really really good and it does definitely curl my lashes definitely okay so now I am gonna go in with a neutral lip surprise surprise um, I think I'm gonna go in in line with I'm gonna line with 223 And it's funny because this lip liner looks different on everybody. Like I see so many of the influencers using this and I'm like, it doesn't look like that on me. It's weird. And our lip liners are so good, guys. They don't like drag. They just glide right across your lips. Especially if you use the balm beforehand. And on me, I tend to go up a little bit more because I like to create the illusion of a more of a Cupid's bow. Because uh, I don't have one. And I'm just, I like the look of a Cupid's bow. So. Then I am going to go in with our liquid lip in 201, which is the color skin. Because I don't want anything to compete with the eye look. I want the eye look to be the standout uh, feature. And... I want to keep this very beachy looking and glowy and bronzy. And our liquid lips, guys, they're so good. They're not drying. They last a long time um, without having to be reapplied. They don't cake up, they don't crack. Guys, I'm dying too because I need wax to do my upper lip. <laughs> so I've been tweezing and tweezing and tweezing. I need wax. Oh my God, I'm so hairy. I don't know why, I'm French. I don't know why I'm so hairy, but I have like really hairy arms. I always have to wax my mustache. It's really bad. Even my face, I have a lot of peach fuzz. Like I I shave my face, like I dermaplane my face a lot of times to get that fuzz off, the peach fuzz. But I'm just a hairy, hairy person. It's terrible. Now, you can leave it like this. You could leave your, your lips just as is, just with the skin. Or if you wanted to, you could go back in with a little bit of what's left in your cap and put a little bit of it on the center to do like almost like a halo uh, effect just to give it a little... A little bit of a, let's see if I can have a lot in the cap. It's 
It's almost like an ombre or a halo. And it would almost, it almost like mimics what you have on your eye. And then if that was, if you wanted it to be like really, really, really like add to the dewy look and to um, make it more of a wet look, you can go in with the lip plumper. Now we have the skin um, underneath with a little bit of the pigment. Then you can go in with your lip plumper from pharmacy and add some of that. And I am almost out of our lip plumper. And it gives a little bit of a tingle uh, to your lips, but not anything like crazy we do have regular lip glosses too guys so you don't have to go in the lip plump you could go in with one of our regular lip glosses but it does give a little bit of a tingle gives a little bit of plumpness so that gives you like a very um wet look so whichever you prefer either the matte or this more wet look and that's the look guys that is the look. Now you could also go in with our three-in-one palette or any of our highlighters, but um, I'm gonna use the one in the three-in-one palette. Go in with the highlight and you could actually just go in and very softly just add a little bit of highlight to above your cheekbones if you wanted to. And you don't need a lot. It a little goes a long way. And it's a really natural looking highlight. And you could make a little bit down the nose, a little bit down the center, and on your chin. And then you could go in with You can go in with a small brush and pop a little bit into the inner corners. And it just gives that pop of color. I mean, that pop of um, shine, you know, like a really brightens it. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. It brightens it. Get it together, Charlotte. Okay, so you can see you got that beautiful highlight. It's so pretty, guys. Look at that. Can you see that? So pretty. Like, that is just so pretty. Can you see? And then, like I said, down the center of the nose. And that's the look, guys. That is the look. Let me try and fix this monstrosity. Oh, that's better. Fake it till you make it. That's what I say to my bun every day. Fake it till you make it. Because I'm waiting for my bun to get bigger again. I used to have a beautiful, be able to do a beautiful bun in my hair. It was so beautiful. Now, it's so sad. It's not thick enough to do a big beautiful bun but we make it work yeah so I have my good vibes t-shirt on I have glowy skin and makeup and I love it I love 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 this look guys I hope that you like it too hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um yeah I wish I had somewhere to go because I think I look pretty good.
But anyways, guys, thank you for letting me share a little bit of your time and for supporting me in my videos and in my business. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, if you guys need anything or any products that you cannot currently find out in the store and it's something that pharmacy offers, you can let me know or you can go to my website at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. And if you know anybody who is in need of a job right now, an income to supplement until they get back on their feet or they get to go back to their regular job, please feel free to reach out to me and I will do all I can to help um, get them started. And um, what else? I think that's it. So I wish you all a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great, um, tomorrow's already Friday, guys. Have a great Friday. Good weekend. Uh, go for a ride. Go for a walk. If you're walking, social distance still, even though you're outside. Um, but go for, you know, go for a ride. And um, yeah, do something. Get some fresh air. So I hope you all um, stay safe, stay healthy. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. I send you all positive vibes, healthy vibes, and well wishes to any of those out there that um, who are sick. Um, you know, I wish you a speedy recovery. All right, so take care, guys. Thank you again for watching this video. Please feel free to share this video. Feel free to share my web page, um, my Facebook page. Refer me out to any friends or family that you feel might be interested. Um, referrals are so good for me, so I appreciate anybody that takes the time to do that. So again, this was a beachy, glowy summer look, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much, guys, and I will see you all soon. Mwah!